I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. And yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Happy Thursday. Good morning. This is your station for jazz and justice in the nation's capital, 89.3 FM, WPFW FM. And uh, I am Jamila Bay, your host for this hour of OMG, Oh My Government, Community Watch and Comment. This is the show where we consider a great many things, whether we agree with them, whether we disagree with them, we hold the idea and roll it around and see if it's something that has some merit and has some weight for us. So today I am profoundly excited to be with you because I've got a guest who uh, you're definitely going to want to call in and talk with. You're also going to want to call in and make your pledge of support. I have to remind you, we are in Fund Drive. Uh, the the programming that we provide, if it provides value to you, we need you to let us know that. You can go online at wpfwfm.org and make your pledge of support. We've got operators in our uh, illustrious uh, uh, facility here ready to take your call at 202 wait, uh, 202-588-9739 or 1-800-222-9739 uh, we cannot provide the programming and the service to this community without support from this community so um, I, I say that to remind you we're in fun drive and if you call in and let me know that you've made a pledge, uh, we're definitely going to be able to, to get you on and, and, and talk with you. Now, um, here in Washington, D.C., uh, where, where those who are listening can hear me and people who are online, uh, can recognize that I am, uh, you know, we are, we're down the street from the CDC. Uh, we're, we're, Facing a crisis of health in this country, we're facing an obesity epidemic that is making uh, diabetics of Americans younger and younger. Uh, the prevalence of obesity in the U.S. is 39.8 percent. That's 93.3 million Americans. Um, the the obesity related conditions, including type two diabetes, heart disease, stroke, are some of the leading causes of pre- preventable and premature death. The estimated medical cost of obesity in the U.S., uh, you know, is, is more than 150 billion. That's with a B. $150 billion. Um, and the cost for folks who, who have obesity is about $1,500 a year more than people who have uh, an average normal kind of weight. Um, I, I use the word normal because that's the word the CDC um, uses now. Um, Hispanics and non-Hispanic black people such as myself have the highest uh, prevalences of obesity in the U.S. Um, the prevalence amongst Americans who are 40 to 59 years old is 41 percent. Forgive me, I'm 42.8 percent. So 43 percent of folks older than 40 are obese in the U.S. Um, young adults are uh, those between ages 20 to 39. The prevalence of obesity is about 36 percent for them. We know that folks who are uh, of lower income, lower education tend to have a higher body mass index. And that pattern holds again for African Americans, for Hispanic Americans, or, you know, women tend to be heavier than men. All of this, all of this, all of this. Um, but what do we do about it? Is it a, is it an issue of, uh, as, as we've been told, you know, we need to exercise more and eat less. We need to stay away from high fat foods. We need to stay away from carbohydrates. Um, it, it can be hard to figure out exactly what to do to uh, get our health, get our weight in hand. Now, uh, here's my disclaimer for this hour. If you are listening to this program, I don't know you. My guest does not know you. We are not your personal medical professional. You need to be 
be about the business of your own health. This conversation today is going to add some ideas about some overwhelming success that has been seen um, in in the realm of of overweight and obesity treatment. Uh, and uh, speaking bluntly, you know your body better than anyone else. Do not call me up talking about, well, Jamila told me uh, Jamila is sharing information. Your mileage may vary. And uh, that said, be an adult and listen here. However, my guest uh, is a a spitfire of a fat loss coach. Uh, he, don't don't let the Canadian accent fool you, y'all. He he, you know he he can tell you how it is. There, there. All all our neighbors to the north are not just polite hockey players. Um, Cole Robinson is the brains and the mastermind behind the Snake Diet, um, which is. His online uh, empire of helping people, many just like me, to go from uh, a weight that they feel is too much for them to being lean, clean, you know, weight loss machines. And um, did I mention that following Cole's protocol is something that anyone with a body can do? And frankly, it's free. So um, I, I've I've found this gentleman. Uh, you, you might not want to play his YouTube videos too loudly at work. You've been warned. But uh, the information is good, and he's he's decided to share an hour with us this morning, helping us to crack this code that too many of us have have had trouble with. So, Cole Cole Robinson, welcome to OMG. I am overjoyed to have you. How are you doing today, Jamila? <laughs> I'm 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 a bit too fat. <laughs> I'm a bit too fat. I gotta admit. Um, th- thanks for being with us. So, for folks who don't know who you are, um, let let's start at the beginning. The Snake Diet. Um, what is it, and why do you have us drinking salt water? What's that about? Okay, so. Basically, to keep it short, I used to be a fitness trainer, and uh, I just got sick and tired of training people, and, you know, you're getting as good a result as you can, but everyone's a food addict, so there was a girl one time I was training, and I, I just challenged her to a 24-hour fast, and this was at a time where I didn't even know if fasting was good for you, bad for you. I didn't even care. It's like, you're not going to die at fasting for 24 hours, because mm-hmm. I did it many a times for surgeries and such, so... I had her fast 24 hours, and then I fasted longer than that, and then I felt great at about 36 hours, and then at that point, I just started fasting, and things got longer to where I was fasting two days, three days, seven days, 15 days, and then I um, just stumbled upon how the salt, you could fast extremely long periods of time, just burn straight body fat, just drinking simple salt water, and uh, that's how it all started, and I just self-experiment, and that's how I figured out the truth. Mm-hmm. And and the truth is, frankly, um, stop eating and you burn fat and you lose truth, weight. Exactly. The truth is, you stop eating. And when I say stop eating, I'm saying no snacks, no nothing. Like pretend that you're locked in a padded room and you stop eating. And what'll happen is when you're drinking the salt water, it's just an electrolyte. It's nothing. Like, it's no magic formula. You just mm-hmm. uh, it's discipline to not eat. And the salt water is just sodium chloride, potassium chloride. Uh, a little bit of magnesium in there, and it's just to keep the electrolytes up so your body can keep firing the muscles on the long fast, and then you completely utilize body fat. You force your body into ketosis, essentially. It's not, it's not a ketogenic diet. You, you're literally forcing the body into a state of ketosis like a, like a, you know, a thousand pound grizzly bear, and you're just going to burn up that massive gut on you. It's like 200, 300, 400,000 calories worth of energy that you're not ever tapping into. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to I want to just uh, for folks um, who who like the science stuff I, I want to I yep. talk about ketosis. You hear it thrown around and you see it in the in the magazines. Get ready for bathing suit season. You know, here's a ketosis inducing diet. You know, so the the liver is the organ that stores energy in in the body of mammals. We're mammals, right? Yeah, to a point. So. Yeah, so your liver, a human liver, will store approximately 100 grams of, of glucose, which is essentially sugar, okay? so And then your muscles also store glycogen as well. It's called glu- glucose glycogen. And what will happen is when you fast about 24 hours, now depending on, you know, depending on your metabolism, if you have a fatty liver, 
um, things like that. It might take a little longer to force ketosis, but essentially that liver glycogen will drain. And that is, is that's like the switch. Once that's empty, your body has no choice but to be full and burning body fat. And what it'll do is start breaking down the body fat, and your body will go from burning sugar into burning ketone bodies, which is what is a byproduct of your body breaking down body fat, and you'll start running on ketones. Mm-hmm. Now, why is that a good thing? Why is it good to run on ketones instead of the bagel you have for breakfast? A lot okay, of well, you know, by nature, like if you start going back into just evolution and such, by nature, we would have been kind of a dual fuel organism. We would have, you know, we would have ran on glucose. And if we didn't have food for a couple of days, we would have basically been forced to burn some body fat stores and so on and so forth. Right. And that's pretty much we evolved that way and, and ketones are a type of energy that we can definitely utilize and when you fast you can get fat adapted very quick and when you get fat adapted that allows your body to switch into burning fat and back and forth into burning sugar and fat very easily so you don't even have any withdrawals so like most people that i coach basically i'll start them off with a 72 hour fast right off the bat 72 hours Done. no food Nothing, just the salt water right off the bat. It's a like, gun to your head, get through it. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't know how to watch my mouth on here. <laughs> gun, gun, gun to your head, get through the 72 hours. You know, I've had people have some pretty nasty withdrawals, but they don't die. You're not going to die from not eating for three days. It's not going to kill you. And then you drink the salt water, and, you know, some of the withdrawals, the people are coffee addicts. They're obviously all sugar addicts. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you'll get some headaches. I've had some people even even puke, you know, at 24 hours, and they get through it. The body makes that switch into ketosis. And then usually they feel great, and if they feel good at 72 hours, I'll just keep them going. You mm-hmm. know, especially, like, I got a girl right now that I'm coaching. There's actually a black woman. She's a young, she's only 30, 31 years old, and she's 500 pounds. And basically, she, like, her first fast, I've, it's not even uncommon for me to get some of these heavy people to fast 14 days even up to 30 days right off the start, right on the salt water, and they feel great because all of them, every one of them has high blood sugar. Uh, their inflammation's through the roof because of the high blood sugar, high insulin all the time. It's probably the biggest problem. That's why naturally we're supposed to eat. When we do eat, we eat and fast. We don't snack because you keep the insulin down because the constant high-frequency eating that they promote keeps your insulin spiked all day and that promotes inflammation like crazy and that's like the leading factor is going to be heart disease and clogged arteries mm-hmm. but i'll have people fast for days on end right off the bat and their blood sugar will get down and the inflammation will drop skin issues will start clearing up like everything and they feel great mm-hmm. and uh yeah i i uh i have to i have to disclose you know i i uh noticed uh, in, in the gym, running around with my kid, I wasn't doing as well as I know I should be able to. Um, yep. Steps were becoming hard for me. And I, I live in D.C., which is to say our public transit system needs work. And uh, running up and down the steps to get to my train because the elevators aren't working or because the, the escalators are turned into stairs, I was having trouble moving as well. And, and, uh, and as I looked for an idea of, of what could help me. Um, I was, you know, my, my medical professional suggested maybe gastric surgery or, um, you know, I haven't had much success speaking bluntly. Oh, and you, and your language, I'm, I'm a sugar addict, high coal. Um, you know, I, I have yeah. never met a bag of chocolates that I did not like. Um, and, and I just wasn't doing really well. And I'm, I'm, I'm a youngish person. I mean, I'm, I'm total Gen X here. I can still get yeah. in a mosh pit, but I noticed that I wasn't, you know, the idea of bending over to pick something up, I needed to make a grunting noise to do that. Um, and so, uh, personally finding, finding the snake diet, um, Listening to you be, you know, loud and kind. Of, you, you, you start. How do you start off all your videos? Hey, fatty. <laughs> you call people fatties? I mean, that's not very polite. You know what? That's the funny thing because when I very first started making YouTube, my very first video, I said, "Hey, fatty," at the start of it. And out of anything that I've done, that's probably the <laughs> best thing I ever did was start bringing fat shaming back and back again. 
Because <sighs> but when you do it, I have haters. But I'll tell you this, it shocks, it shocks people, and they check me out, and then they look and how, see how easy this is, and they start. And I've had people even, like, hate me to the point, you know, I get all sorts of threats and stuff on the Internet. And I've had people that hated me so bad and then actually tried it fight me just to prove that it didn't work and then it did and they lost like 50 pounds in two months and then they're thanking me and they're like i love you cool so um i didn't call me every name in the book before that i didn't tell you this i didn't i'm 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 sharing this with cole robinson who is the creator of the snake diet he's on youtube he's on social media snake diet wizard um the website snake diet.com um, is is an internet uh, forgive me is an intermittent fasting protocol way to lose body fat i was by looking way, for, just, so i don't use the word intermittent fasting because i use the word prolonged fasting because as soon as you say intermittent fasting the mainstream's got that beat into like an eight hour eating window which isn't what i promote like that mm-hmm. once people are ripped then they get down to maybe eating a meal a day but i call it prolonged fasting when you're, because you're fasting for a lot longer than any eight hour reading window so i'm i'm one of the people who who watched watched this video and heard hey fatty Right. Body fat is food. If you've got fat on your body, you don't need to put it. You don't need to put food in your mouth. And I was incensed, but I kept watching. And I <laughs> and I remembered. Um, you know, I remembered that. Um, my father fasted when I was a child. Um, much of my family uh, practices Islam, so. Um, I'm, I'm familiar with the Ramadan fasting and, um, I, I, I've done that before, you know, the no food, no water all day. Uh, and I was watching the videos and I said, well, you know what? Um, I, I, I'll, I'll listen to, 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 you know, the, this loud guy who's screaming at me. Um, if I don't like it, I'll eat something. Um, if I don't yeah. feel like it works, I'll break the fast and go back to what I was doing. Um, I My first fast, I made about 66 hours. Um, day one was easy. I mean, I, I it was like a regular day where sometimes I'm busy and forget to eat. So I, I yep. that was no problem. Day two, I got, uh, I think in your word, a gnarly headache. Um and I wanted I, – I was in very foul mood because I guess evolutionarily speaking, my body is probably saying, hey, you haven't eaten. Go kill something. Go, go yeah. you know, hunt some berries or eat something. This is – I'm not used to being without food this long. Um, day two was hard for me. Day – you know, and then I woke up um, day three and I could think really clearly that yeah. – that, was you know this is my own personal experience i'm sharing but the level of clarity and focus that i had um my mood was 180 degrees from the day before and then i got on the scale and i was down like seven and a half pounds yeah and like here's the thing too like uh even like when i did the very first fast you know when i had the girl that i started on the 24 i did 36 hours and basically i didn't know nothing about fasting like i call it fasting forced ketosis is what it is mm-hmm. so i started friday night so i had that sleep and then saturday night sleep uh, it took a while like i didn't have any headaches myself because i wasn't a real sugar addict or i didn't drink coffee but i definitely had a tough time getting to sleep but once i did go to sleep i slept like a baby woke up everything's brighter you're in ketosis and that's exactly what mm-hmm. happened and uh you know a lot of people they'll go through those withdrawals and then they'll just feel like a million bucks because it's, here's the thing, fat people can't start. So it's like when you really get lean, like, cause I teach, I coach a lot of athletes too. See, that's the thing. I'm not just some hippie fasting coach that tells people to fast for 30 days straight and not get in the gym. Cause I coach a lot of people that are trying to use fasting as a protocol to get leaner. So people that like men that want to get down to like under, you know, 10% body fat, even as low as like, you know, 6% body fat where they're eating a meal a day and they're taking advantage of that, of that, uh, of that, basically that fasting window where they can crank up their growth hormone and they can really utilize the body fat because they're not spiking insulin all day. So they eat like one large meal in a day once they get lean. But mostly when I coach people, the overweight people, like I say, I'll get them fasting for a very long period of time at the start, as long as they can go until they feel taxed for some reason. 
then a lot of times I'll get them on 72 hour fast maybe with a 500 calorie repeat, but that's all they need because that keeps them tapping into their own body fat because they got so much energy on their gut. Like people don't get it that body fat is food. Like you can go fat, people just cannot starve. It's impossible. You can't until you start getting lean and then that's real hunger. Like when I'm dealing with people, like I coached the girl for a bikini show the last couple of months and like when you're dealing with real hunger, you know, your cortisol gets cranked up and you ha- you can't sleep. It's not that you can't go to sleep easily. It's like you're wired and that's when you start really getting me. Now, that's hunger. That real hunger would have drove us to kill something. But with you, when you were having those withdrawals, that was just withdrawals. That wasn't true hunger. That right. was not even compared. I've been hungry. Like, I've done five-day dry fast where I went into the dry fast at probably about eight percent body fat so like lean already and i went five days with no water or food and came out of that like basically famished to the point where you know and i do that stuff for self-experimentation because that's the problem people are scared mm-hmm. it's fear that makes people not do anything because the system scares them so bad with all the bs so i do the experiment and then if i you know what i'm saying i do them i never get people to do stuff that i haven't done first and twice as hard Okay, Cole Robinson, the creator of the Snake Diet, uh, a prolonged fasting protocol that uh, reminds people like me, if you've got body fat on you, you can't starve. Um, Cole, I've got a uh, I've got a caller who wants to ask you a question, and um, I, I know that this caller is from Atlanta, and I want to bring her okay. on right now. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic. You get to talk to Cole. Hi, Cole. How's it going? It's going well. I am Good. an opera singer from Atlanta, and your diet has totally changed my life. Um, awesome. I discovered you on YouTube, and um, I have been kind of uh, in your cult, if you will, ever since. <laughs> you know, I've, <laughs> I've added my family and friends to your group and that you have a very large following here in uh, Atlanta and in Georgia well, thank in, you very in, much. in general. Yeah. So, so we, we absolutely you love you here. How much right? weight have you lost? I have lost total about 23 pounds. Um, awesome. I, I haven't made it to where I could fast for you know, 14 days, but that's like my goal to get to where I can fast 14, you know, 14 days. Yeah, and, that's I have good. And, that, and that's good, but like, you know, as long as you're, like a lot of times it's the consistency is key. So like if yeah. somebody, you're going to, if you're doing 72 hour fast, let's say you're a female, okay, tons of women I coach, like 250, 300 pounds. If you're consistent, if you do a long fast, fine, on the salt water, that's awesome. But whenever you come off the long one, though, just make sure that you get on a routine like 72s with a small 500-calorie refeed and then scrubbing that refeed out with a little bit of walking throughout the three days, drinking some, drinking some snake juice. Like, that routine will get you there. Okay? Because I know a lot of a lot of people, that you know, they'll fast for like 30 days and sometimes they'll mess up. So I want to get that through to people. But a routine is key. You know, logging everything is key. Taking right. pictures. I make people take accountability pictures, obviously, if you're on my snake diet motivation group on facebook it's just littered with starting pictures i won't even coach somebody that hasn't posted their fat body publicly because that is that slap in the face that people need to even start because it's like okay my body's up there now i gotta do something so then they don't yeah quit. and i help people for free so that makes it so they don't waste my time wait you that- help people for free yeah i haven't yeah exactly I, this is all free like the only the only money I make anymore is like on views on YouTube, which that's still free for people. It's some ads, but most of my stuff doesn't even get monetized anyway because I swear so much. And then, <laughs> and then the snake juice, we do sell it. It's simply just salt water, and people who are dying for us to actually sell it to them. But you can just go to the grocery store. Full disclosure: you can go to the grocery store and make your own snake juice out of sodium chloride, potassium chloride, baking soda, a little bit of magnesium. It's simple to make. There's a million recipes on my youtube channel it's like basically free well uh i i i have to say um i found you just about easter i have relatives who were practicing ramadan 
uh, observing Ramadan, rather, who reminded me that I, I said, hey, you know, uh, I, I want to try this. And, and so as I went to research fasting and whatnot and found you, um, I, I was I was triggered by you being like, hey, fatty. And so I wanted to try <laughs> it. Made you, made you watch the videos, didn't it? It made me watch the videos. And I personally am down 27 pounds since this this Easter, um, I yeah, personally awesome. have had the experience of, um, you know, recognizing that I'm thinking I've, and, and even if it is a placebo effect that I feel like I'm thinking better, that I'm lighter on my feet, that I don't have problems running up and down the DuPont circle uh, escalator well, anymore, which is I don't know. That's probably fifteen hundred. So here's, here's a good point I want to bring back to you real quick because you mentioned the bariatric surgery. Mm hmm. Anyone, anyone listening, never get it. Okay, like, are you out of your mind to go let these people butcher you before you would try not eating and drinking salt water? It makes no sense, but that's how brainwashed people are. But that girl I'm helping with 500 pounds, she couldn't even walk. Mm. Now she can walk. Wow. And now I'm getting, and now I'm getting her in the swim pool, and she's going to do a little bit of cardio. She can move around in the swim pool. But that's the kind of people I'm dealing with. I'm getting people that, like, a trainer, they, like, you know, exercise is good. Okay. And you burn calories, and but there's people that get a hold of me that can't move. Like th yeah. these are people that just can't do anything, and the only thing they can do is not eat, and that won't kill them. And then they start shrinking. And people that you know they don't understand either about muscle mass. Like when you're that overweight, you won't lose any muscle when you're fasting that hard. Like people, like it's, it's funny how people are like, "Oh, I'll lose muscle." Well, you're not going to lose all your muscle. What are you just going to be bones and fat? No, your muscle just just like a grizzly bear. Okay, we're not grizzly bears, but it's similar. Same with every other animal on the planet. They can fast like grizzly bears. They'll fast for a whole, obviously, a whole season. Like there's people like coach that are the size of a grizzly bear, and they can fast a whole season too. Like it's the same. Mm. Uh, Cole wow. Robinson, creator of the Snake Diet, he's all over social media. Um, he he swears a lot in his videos, and I want to thank you, Cole, for not swearing on this. U.S. based right, radio right. show because they're serious about that. Um, my, my caller well, from Atlanta, uh, who is an opera singer who is not a fat lady. Uh, I, I've, I've seen our, our caller from Atlanta. Uh, she's, yeah, she, she is, she is the reason why I, I know this works. Um, again, using my own, uh, story, I, I have lost 30 pounds in less than a month, um, by simply not eating, by mixing up some Epsom salt, some no salt, salt substitute, some Himalayan pink salt, uh, little cayenne pepper and some water. I, I, I got the idea to do that from Cole Robinson. And, um, I'm going to be blunt as I sit here in a pair of jeans. I haven't worn since before the 2016 presidential election. And if I might say, I look fabulous in these jeans right now. Um, thank you, Cole Robinson. A Not <laughs> stories, like even, even with weight loss, um, I've done 15 days fast where I actually did 10 days on the snake juice, just the salt. And then I did five days dry. That's another fasting protocol I promote is dry mm -hmm. fasting. So no I, food, no water. Nothing. And I, like, I usually will use that sometimes with people, um, depending, like, if they have really bad skin issues and things like that. Like, it's, it's very strong autophagy effect, which essentially means you're killing all these bad cells in your body. It's almost mm -hmm. like defragmenting your computer in the old days kind of thing is what it does. It's a very strong cleansing effect for eye fasting. It's probably the most detoxing thing you could do, actually. And uh, I lost 35 pounds in two weeks, and I got pictures of that on my social media. But I, um, like, that that fast, it, you know, it was, it was hard, but it, I actually got fat deliberately because that's what I do. I show people this stuff works. I actually gained 35, 35 or so pounds in about six weeks over, like, force feeding on trash and then lost it all in two weeks just to show people how fast I could cut the weight back, wow. back down. So, yeah, I've done all sorts of experiments like that. Cole, uh, 
Cold does this and chronicles it and puts it out for the world to see. Um, his coaching is free. And, uh, you know, I, I as, as someone who has benefited from watching his videos and just not eating, um, I think he's on to something. So um, very quick pause here. I have to remind folks, we are in pledge drive right now. Uh, this particular program, I'm going to be blunt. Uh if you saw Cole on the doctors, you might recognize him from there, but there are a whole lot of places that will not bring you programming such as this, um, will not uh, allow different points of view to be brought forth, particularly points of view that can solve problems that a lot of people make money off of creating in the first place. Um, I'm looking at the fact that, you know, Anywhere I go, I see ads for garbage food that will make me unhealthy. Um, WPFW, this show, my fellow programmers, go out of our way to bring you voices that you do not get to hear otherwise. If this programming is something that makes a difference in your life, if this program is something that you support, we need to know that. Uh, we ask you to go online, wpfwfm.org. You can make your pledge of support there. We've got folks standing by on the phone lines. Toll free, 1-800-222-9739. Uh, you can call us at 202-588-9739. This is the type of conversation that we bring to you because it's important and because, you know, frankly, um, you, you deserve to hear alternate points of view. So um, what I want to do, we've got a couple of uh, local people calling in. I want to thank my Atlanta opera singing superstar. Uh, and, uh, we're gonna let, we're gonna let Atlanta go. We're gonna get a couple other callers on to ask quick questions of Cole. So, uh, let, let's go to this first person right here. Good morning. Welcome to OMG. Hi. My Hi. name is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. I, Cole sounds wonderful too. I guess you're good too, Cole, right? Yeah. Cole, how are you? <laughs> awesome. Well, I just want to say, Cole, you, just like the last caller, have changed my entire life, including my entire family. Um, My immediate family really didn't need to lose weight, but I did. Um, And through that, my husband has actually lost about 25 pounds, so he did need to lose some some weight. Um, But you've you've changed everything for me. I've talked to you a couple of times before. um, Okay. And just my experience with the snake diet, I started last year in February, And I was a good 50, 60 pounds overweight. And in four months, I did lose 52 pounds with the snake diet. Um, That is amazing. Awesome work. It's it's, it's you. It really is. And what I really like to say about it to my friends who question me about what I've been doing is that every other program out there is for profit. Every other weight loss program out there is not for people. And you are the only one that is really out to help people. I mean, it's a it's a huge difference and it's an aha moment once people really start to discover who you really are and really what your motivation is. Um, you know, that's, that's where the magic is. And, you know, I've tried every other plan out there, spent so much money. I can't even add up the thousands of dollars that I've spent <laughs> really trying to yeah, lose exactly. weight. Hello, sister. Seriously. Well, and the snake diet. People. Yeah, it's, it's saved me money. I mean, we are eating out so much less because on the days that I've been fasting, um, you know, I'm cooking meals at home for my family. And, you know, yes, it takes discipline to make this happen, but it is more simple than any other plan out there. You're for people. You're not for profit. And, and that discipline uh, you, you talked you about, too, it. like that discipline, that is, uh, that's what it's all about. And it takes discipline regardless. Everything takes discipline. And discipline is attractive, you know, and then. Mm-hmm. And you know, fasting once you once you get through that hoop and you feel like it, it gives you control again. You don't feel like yeah. you got to rely mm-hmm. on the mainstream doctor's BS, and it gives you full control. It's like I yep. can do it, and it costs me nothing. I just got to do it, and I'm not going to die. And that's the probably the most amazing part when I help people when they get back to me after like say a three day fast or four day fast, and they're feeling good, and they're just mind boggled that they did it. Because that's the main thing that just makes people aren't as weak as they think. Mm, okay, people right. aren't weak. They're, they're tough. People are tough as nails. 
Okay, we evolved to be so resilient it's not even funny. But the mm-hmm. citizen as you think you're a weak little little like Thank weak, you. weak little whip. Yeah. Weak little <laughs> Thank whip. you, Cole. That's what the that's what the system has you think. And then if anything, all anybody that hates on me usually, I can just see the fear. It's mm-hmm. the fear is why they're hating. Okay, right. it's not that they hate because they can't hate somebody they don't know, they're scared. And right. that is what I am here to do. I'm, all I am essentially at this point is a, motiv- a motivational speaker of weight loss. And I motivate people to do it. And once they've done it, it's like once you've jumped out of that plane once when you bungee jump, you can do it again. Uh-huh. And so it's like almost like a tool you have in your arsenal. Once you've done a fairly long fast, even if you screw up, you can jump back on so easy and, and just keep building that discipline until you get there. And it's just the p- most powerful thing when you – when you know that you don't have to worry, like rely on others to try to like help you with weight loss, which is pretty much preposterous anyway. We're never meant to be fat. Uh, That's yeah. exactly it. Mm-hmm. Something that I that that reminded me of too is this is the only time in my life, the first time in my life with a program where I, ha- I have not felt guilty when I do eat because I know that no matter what, if I gain a couple pounds here and there, and I don't want to be a, a, a slave to the scale, but if I do gain a couple pounds here and there, I know that I can just fast it off. Exactly. Um, so mm-hmm. even, There's like, no more watchers. guilt. There's no more guilt. Yeah, like, even like something like Weight Watchers, you know, they got you on basically the worst routine in the world, crazy high frequency right. cutting calorie routines. From, like from, That's so catabolic. If people don't mm-hmm. know what catabolic means. It just breaks muscle down like crazy. And then yep. if some woman screws up on her Weight Watchers diet, like, let's just talk the weight loss part of it, not to mention how unhealthy it is to, to eat that kind of a frequency. It's just not natural at all. But if they screw it up, now it's like this huge setback. Because it's like, oh, like I've done experiments to show people, like, I've, ate, I've done experiments, I've done routines at a very lean body weight where I was eating, like, 10,000 calories in one day and then fasting for two days. And that was a maintenance routine, so I wasn't trying to gain or lose. I was trying to maintain. And, like, that's how long you could fast on a massive refeed once you're lean. I've done, you know, I've done 48-hour fast with a large meal. you got to be able to eat, like, a lot of food to actually maintain on 48 if you're fairly active like me. You know, I've done all sorts of routines like that, and you can always just jump back on it. Every single that's thing right. out there, all, every single weight loss program out there still caters to eating. Yes, The only it thing you need to say is, Stop eating, you fat pig, like I say. <laughs> but they just, they just cater to eating, like even the ketogenic diet. Okay, the real ketogenic diet is a therapeutical diet at best, and I use it as a tool at, at times, but it's not some, It's not a macro routine, like a fat, protein, and carb routine that I have people on for the rest of their life. I'll use it as a, as a tool with the fasting for, like, say, someone that's got cancer or something to try to get some autophagy effects and things like that. Mm-hmm. But that's another... It's like, oh, you can eat now. You can eat your keto diet, but then all these keto people are coming to me because the keto experts said they can eat whatever they want as long as there's no carbs and they lose a bit of weight at the start and then they get plateaued or mm-hmm. it takes them forever to lose the weight. And like, yeah, there's disciplined people that could chew their body down, but in the av- in the whole, if the only people that are going to, there's very few people that have the discipline to cut on these mainstream routines. You need to, if once you got that fasting tool in your arsenal, then you can lose weight. Aaron, I want That's to thank right. you for calling in. Um, now, Cole, before I, before I bring another caller on, um, I want to, I want to define our terms so everybody knows what we're talking about. And then I want to yep. share a question that somebody, uh, texted me a moment ago. First of okay. all, you use the term auto, uh, autophagy, which is where right. the cells break down and recycle old and yeah, um, exactly. lesser lesser needed uh, proteins. Some of these proteins have been linked to Alzheimer's and other diseases. Um, the body yeah. kind of tears that apart to make to you know to get water to get fat for energy. Well, that so that's that's when you're dry fasting when your body. Like, when you get truly dry fasted, which would take about 48 hours of no water, at that point, your body will really try to break down body fat to get the electrolytes that it needs to hydrate you. But now autophagy can happen. That's, a, that's probably the most aggressive form of autophagy, but it can happen just from regular uh, fasting routines on the salt water, and then even, you know, even, even some calorie restriction will cause it, actually. But there was a study done... Uh, actually, not a study. A guy won the Nobel Prize actually in 2016 
I forget his exact name, he's Asian, and uh, he proved that a three-day fast will actually essentially rejuvenate the whole immune system. So you got like red blood cells in your system right now that are, they have a half-life, and when you fast a good 72 hours, it'll like scrub all those weak cells out, and then when you refeed, all of them will come back fresh. Like your stem cells will start making new cells, and you'll have like fresh cells, and your immune system will be cranked right up. Like this is how you beat sickness. Anytime I ever feel slightly sick, and it's only usually when I'm yelling at fat people all night and I lose some sleep, <laughs> basically I'll go on a little dry fast every time and I'll just beat feed it. Like it'll just, your immune system so gets so amped up when you either even fast on the snake juice or dry fast. Like, mm-hmm. you know, fasting will just make your immune system through the roof. And it's, 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 absolutely, it's absolutely necessary for optimal human health. We were, we were born to fast. We, we were born to definitely not eat eight times a day and, yeah. and and call up and have Postmates deliver everything we exactly. want. Exactly. And you so, can just talk oh, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Oh, well, well, I, I want to, I, uh, I, I brought up Postmates for a reason. So I, I, I got someone who, who sent in a question, um, who says, my preteen is overweight. Um, we order food a lot. I would like to I would like to do something other than getting him to run around um yeah. but can kids fast and awesome it, and is is it healthy for for a preteen to lose weight by not eating Awesome question. Okay, so this is where people might get triggered. <laughs> okay. Well, Again, I'm- hold on. Let me disclaimer, let me disclaimer. Uh <laughs> Cole is not your doctor. Cole does not parent your child. This is Cole's experience. You figure it out for yourself. Okay, take it away. So what I so basically at one point I wanted to like take it to the next level. So yeah, I'm helping all these fat people. We're losing tons of weight. And then how how do you attack the real problem? Childhood obesity is the problem. Okay, you want to teach these kids how to eat at a proper eating frequency when they're kids. So I knew that most parents weren't going to get their kids to fast. And some of them that wanted to, the education system is so poor that if they had their kids fasting at all, and I'm talking not like some of you ladies and men that are doing long fast, I'm talking even eating a meal a day, like something that's completely natural, they'll like get, they'll get the, you know, what do, what do you call those people that would come to your house? And the the, the child away? services. Like social just, services, yeah. exactly. And so I finally said, heck with this, I'm going to, Pay these people to lose weight. Wait, you're so paying I, kids to lose weight? So I pay, basically the parents will be like, you know, they'll be following me and losing weight and fasting themselves. And then I had a, I had, uh, a thing where I basically started giving uh, kids, so the parents will obviously pay their kids. And I give them $500 for a, for a transformation where basically they lost their fat little gut and they had a flat stomach, no love handles, and looked like an actual kid again. Mm-hmm. And so I had the kid just recently, 10 years old. He was 132 pounds, a big, big, little, big, little gut on him. I guess because he's only like a little kid, but he's got this big belly. Mm-hmm. And his mom lost a pile of weight. And that kid lost 32 pounds in three months. So he lost about 10 pounds a month, but that was 25% of his body weight. And he hasn't felt better. He's not getting bullied at school. He looks like an actual kid again. He can move. He can run. And then I paid him 500 bucks. Pretty simple. And the kids can fast just the same. It's actually funny because when I was a kid, I fasted and didn't even know it. Like, my mom, essentially, I'd usually eat lunch. I, a lot of times, I'd just skip breakfast a lot of times, like right early morning, right when I woke up. And then at noon, I'd eat a big lunch that my mom packed. And then I'd usually eat a dinner when we got off the bus at four, four-hour eating window didn't eat again and i was ripped when i was a little kid and i had crazy energy okay that's the way most of and then it and the thing is the eating capacity like to eat food like the kids now they've been brainwashed to eat multiple meals a day so their stomach capacity is low so they can't eat like the amount of food they need to eat in the sitting but kids can fast just the same so this kid was pretty much doing 24 hour fast we had him eating super low carb his mom would give him his lunch at school so she wouldn't get busted and then on the weekends, he was doing 48-hour fast like nothing with his mom. Wow. Simple. Simple. Uh, um, hmm. I, 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 had a, I had a young girl do a seven-day fast on snake juice. How young is that, young? Young? Oh, I've had young, uh, 12, 
11. That girl was, I think that girl might have been 9. And she was, I, I had a, a boy that was 230 pounds that was 12 years old. That was, I had a contest going before, and then I changed, because I was going to give away, like, $5,000 to first, second, third place, like, whatever kid did the best transformation. But obviously a bunch of them fell off, so then I decided I'm just going to give every kid that gives me a transformation where they've lost all the weight, I'll give them 500 bucks. Wow. Are you are you going to yeah. be running that again? I, I want yeah. to... <laughs> so, so at this point, at this point, if some, if some like, lady, like, whoever gets a hold of me, um, if the transformation pictures are good quality, like, I have, like, you know, like, clean pictures, you got to see the kid's face, you got to see the women's face and the men's face. I don't put nothing up on my Instagram where there's no faces because the fat loss industry is so crooked that if you can't see their face, I don't trust anything. Mm-hmm. They even even then, people scrub pictures. Everything I make people put up is raw. Like mm-hmm. they got front side back shots in certain positions before and afters. It's really raw, right? So yeah. Everything's such a scam that uh, women, like women, they'll jump on anything if they see a before and after. There's people even stealing my before and afters and trying to sell their rip off supplements. Oh, Unbelievable. So uh, I want to point out, um, in the U.S., uh, about 30 percent of American children are obese. The obesity rate is higher amongst Hispanic, uh, American Indian, Alaska Native and African-American kids. Um, uh, Non-Hispanic white kids are fatter than Asian Pacific Islander kids. But yeah. um, the trend of childhood obesity, when we look at uh, the demographic to which I belong, African Americans, there's not a correlation as there is with adulthood and, and, and impoverishment. Poor black adults tend to weigh more than wealthier black adults. Black children, even little rich black kids are, you know, adorable round little things sometimes, um, which to me speaks to a larger issue of younger people being heavier. We know that that's not good long term. Well, no. It's like, yeah, exactly. And then also when you're gaining weight at a young age, you're you're basically like you're replicating more fat cells because you gain you go past your your threshold. Everyone's got kind of a body fat set point. And then once you're heavy as a kid, it's way harder to lose the weight when you get older if you're trying to just do a mainstream diet. Now, if you're fast, and you can burn fat like crazy. But as far as a lot of people, a lot of it has to do with, you know, your Facebook. Maybe get off Facebook and go do something. Your television set, all the, all the addictions. And that's what I get deeper into with people because a lot of people will do a long fast, and that's not the problem. The problem is these other addictions, porn, Facebook social media, your cell phone, texting, not doing anything, right? That's mm-hmm. These kids are just all social media addicts. These parents are buying them cell phones when they're two years old. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, no par- parents are out of their mind to give their kid a cell phone at that age. They get that kid out in the playground doing, like, hanging on the monkey bars like when I was a kid. I was just lucky enough that I'm just old enough that I beat that, you know, I'm 37 years old, and I just beat that kind of, era where like electronics got crazy get your kid off the damn video game like the parenting mm. terrible terrible parenting okay there's you know there's all sorts of studies i, I bet you that obesity rate that you threw at me with the kids like their version of obesity and mine are two different things I, if I, i'm i'm from canada and i know it's worse where you live and if i go to the every uh, rec center or swimming pool every kid's fat as far as i'm concerned like a kid should not have a gut and i'd say the obesity rate's almost 100 percent with almost kids and adults it's very close like most people are fat and it's a very small niche of people that even go to the gym if you actually look at the grand scheme of things and as far as i'm concerned the obesity rate is probably closer to 90 to 100 percent for kids in the united states there's very few kids that aren't already overweight like the young kids won't even have a prime like a young little girl she's already fat when she's 10 she starts going through puberty and she doesn't ever have a prime because she's just fat the whole way through it and then, and then she's getting bullied, and then she's on Instagram, and then she develops an eating disorder because she sees all this bullshit or all this stuff on TV, you know, and that's the, that's the problem. Like, just, you got to, the parents got to, and this is the thing, though, the legal system, like, God forbid a parent gets their kid eating a proper eating frequency, like, tighten up that eating frequency, only let that kid eat a big lunch or, or, or a big breakfast, and that's it. Okay. And, 
you know what? We're running. We're running low on time. Uh, I want to take one last caller. Um, just just because people people are, are dying to ask you questions, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this last caller, and uh, then we're gonna remind everybody how they can find you and follow you, Cole. So uh, welcome to the program. Let's uh, let's hit it. What's your question? So happy, Jamila. You mean we can't eat our uh, bizarre uh, Italian meatballs and all those wonderful things? <laughs> oh, wow. This is so great. <laughs> anyway, Brett, without all the accolades, sir, how do you do? Uh, yeah, uh, you, did co- you did cover set point. That's a great, great uh, answer to, your, to my question, uh, rendered in your own words. Uh, dietary restrictions, when you can eat and when you do eat, uh, exercise factored in. Should I sit around on my butt while I'm doing this? Uh, because I am a, at least I do ride my bike. Yes. And third, third, mental state and attitude toward this. Kids without siblings tend to be a little bit heavier because they don't have anybody to play with and, mm-hmm. and they eat all the time to compensate for that. So could you address those three, please? Yeah. So as far as yourself, you know, if you're exercise is good. Obviously, the more the more exercise you can do, the better. Combined with the fasting, that's perfect. So we're talking about you, right? Yeah, like, we let him go, but he. Yeah, let's let's assume we're okay. talking about the caller. Yeah. yeah, so that's yeah. You want to exercise as much as you can, and like I say, it's, it's, there's a fasting routine for everybody. Okay, so when I coach people, let's say it's your average guy, let's say he's 50 pounds overweight or something. What I would do is get him to do the long fast. You know, the first one would be as long as possible. Then, depending on his lifestyle, if he actually is going to go to the gym, and depending on the type of exercise he plans on doing, if he's just going to do a lot of cardio versus maybe some weight training, I'll have him on a different routine. So, like, if he was 50 pounds overweight and he's telling me that he's going to do, like, a full-body workout routine, like maybe every day full-body or every other day full-body, then those days I'd probably have him eat before the workout and we'd still keep the calories way down, maybe a little bit of protein, and a little, like, and probably try to keep the carbs as low as possible because our goal is weight loss in the at start, and then maybe add some carbs in later if he gets really serious with it and he can handle carbs. And then he would fast on the day off, and then and then he would log as much cardio as possible, and maybe forty eight hour fast It'd be a good little routine for a guy like that. And then it depends if they got any other health issues and such too, right? But that'd be a good little routine. And then as far as the kid goes, you know that goes back to like community. You know, the kids, and this is people in general, people don't have any friends anymore because they only talk to people over social media. They don't go out, and people aren't even forced to go out in public. Why do you think people can get so fat so they can be shut-ins? Like, there's people that get a hold of me that are shut-ins. You don't see the fattest people on the street. They're hiding, okay, because people can just get everything delivered to their house now. You can get all your shopping nonsense online. You can get food delivered. So even with children, you know, the community and getting your kids Playing with other kids is so important, obviously. And like the kid needs friends, and you got. And if you and if he doesn't have access to friends, you play with them. Be a parent and play with your kid. Just throw baseball back and forth. Make two hours every night for that. Yeah, we go out and catch the Pikachu's and walk all over the city. (laughs) Yeah, just living your life as natural as possible. You know, I like I'm hardcore. I sleep on the floor, okay, because I believe it's better for your spine. I sleep on two yoga mats. You know, I, I drive an old piece of garbage car because it's low low stress stress is key okay stop chasing the dollar because that leads to getting fat too because then you're chasing the dollar trying to keep up with your friends and you get fat and then you're not happy so what did that money do for you nothing yeah okay like simplify your life that's the key i used to be that guy that was chasing money okay it didn't get me any happiness and that's probably the biggest problem because north america united states biggest consumers like people just consume 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 and buy all this crap and Rest because they bought this new car and now they got to work more hours at the crappy day job. You, you just all- you just described everyone I've ever been told I need to emulate. Um, Cole, we've we've reached the end of this hour. I, I want to thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you to our callers. Um, SnakeDiet.com is the website. Uh, Snake Diet Wizard on the Instagram and, and the social media. Uh, YouTube channel is Snake Diet. And, uh, yeah, the, the Facebook group is, is the truth. I'm sitting here in pants that, uh, I couldn't even get into a month ago and I got room in them. So, um, I want to. We're going to have you down to fight. We're going to have you down to fight. Wait. 
in the next few months. Uh, yeah. Uh, you were in high school. Cole is is a friend. Uh, you will definitely be hearing more about him on this program. Um, I want to thank everyone, our, our fearless engineer, Mike Nacella, who, who put this together for us today. Uh, until we talk again, be well, be healthy. We don't need to eat as much as we've been eating. Your mileage may vary. Check with your own doctor. I'm not your personal medical professional. Have a great time. And uh, we're still in pledge drive. We need you people. Call and make those pledges. Thanks so much. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dad got amazed and astonished. The problem is a lot, a lot of brains with no polish. I got to holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. My power of speech, unimpeachable.